As you can see, I made myself some breakfast. It's not 100% Bridgerton inspired, it's more French countryside slash French cafe. But I think it's still quite close. Since I do not have a table that's big enough, I, I live in a dorm, I just use my small table and put a pillowcase um, over my small marble table and I've I've done I'm, I've made some pancakes I'm not the best honestly they're not perfect but you know it's good enough and then I bought some strawberries and this beautiful blue plate is beautiful blue plate is actually a vintage one that I found at um for free at one of my universities I wouldn't call it like vintage shop but like vintage market then I had this just took some marmalade that I had at home um, it's called Bonne Maman it's technically it's a French brand it's really delicious it's, honestly it reminds me of my childhood because I my parents used to or at least they still buy this one just then some fresh organic orange juice I put in a vintage jug that I stole from my mom just some wine glass then I'm gonna drink sometimes I drink water or even orange juice out of it because I think it just looks cute <laughs> then another vintage vase and some fake flowers Thing that I do in order to get the Bridget and Regency mood in is listening to classical music. Or at least, first of all, I do listen to the Bridget and soundtrack season one and two. They're cr quite incredible. Like one of my favorite songs are actually um, ah for those who don't know <clears throat> in Bridget and they actually um, modernized uh, the modern songs and. Put and just rearranged them and played them classical as classical instruments and one of the most prominent one that I can remember is um, one's, oh, actually one of my favorite songs Thank You Next by Ariana Grande Wildest Dreams and Taylor Swift Else, I also have what I really love is Vivadi, especially Concerto Number no. 2 in G minor. Really, really good. Oh my gosh. And also the Ride of the Valkyries by Richard Wagner. Oh, my heart. My heart. Like, this, this music slaps. Like, it slaps. Classical music slaps so hard. And yeah, you have to listen to that. Really check them out. Like, if you like, if you want to get in the mood, mm, mm. it's just um. Another th song that fits quite well is uh, by Sufjan Stevens. You might know him if you have seen "Call Me by Your Names" because he "Call Me by Your Name" because he's the artist who did the um soundtrack to "Call Me by Your Name." and this one song called Love Yourself but you have to listen to your Love Yourself reprise reprise and this one mm, I'm just saying I think they played this song when Daphne got married to the Duke of Hastings it's it's the song when she walks down the aisle is it the song yeah I think it's when she walks down the aisle and let me tell you, <clears throat> it got me my feelings. <laughs> anyway, another way of, of course, embracing this spring Regency and Bridgerton time is to 
wear but it's by clothing and this is the most Bridgerton inspired dress I own right now it's a beautiful dress like look at these do you see these oh see these beautiful roses the dress is actually from reformation it's a beautiful linen dress and it has this heart shaped um how you call it like almost heart shaped trim i don't know how you call it here and it's actually the sleeves that really reminded me of Bridgerton, like the big... I, in Bridgerton, they're kind of a little shorter. I think they're like here, something like that. But these like really beautiful um, uh, puff sleeve. And also the Bridgerton dresses are, have, I think it's called the Empire Line. So they cut off way higher, I think, around here. But anyway, it's the most spring and Bridgerton dress I own. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite. I think it's even my favorite dress. And into the Bridgerton Regency mood, I highly recommend Emma by Jane Austen. It's my favorite book. It's my personal favorite. It's funny, witty, really interesting, and it gives you a great insight on British gentry in the mid 19th century. It's also, and I also believe that the protagonist, Emma Woodhouse, is really likable. And even though Jane Austen did, didn't particularly think that herself. And it's really entertaining. Another book that I would really, really rec recommend is The Time Traveller's Guide to Regency Britain. It's a historical book, more or less a journal, that describes and indulges in various aspects of British society. From the lords and ladies to the common people. It really describes how people live quotidian lives and just gives a great description. And the last book, of course, is Pride and Prejudice. I love this edition. It's one of my favorites. It's also really, really my second fa personal favorite book of Jane Austen. And it's just a classic in my opinion. Today I do have the time to be really into the Bridgerton Regency mood. I'm going to go to this to, to this museum. It's called the Romantic Museum. I think it's the only it's one of its kind. I think it's the only one in Germany and I also believe in Europe, but I'm pretty sure it's the only one in Germany. And it's really dedicated to romanticism as an artistic uh, era, like not just the, you know, the time period, the romantic period, and also Goethe. And I don't know if some of you know, but um, Johann Wolfgang Goethe is actually one of the most renowned 
and accomplished German poets and authors and he was also and he was also pretty known during his time and the Romantic era and he is actually from Frankfurt Germany which is why we have so many places streets and even my university is named after him and the museum is actually where he was born and lived as a child so we're gonna go there It's not my first time, but um, I still like to come here. It's one of my favorite museums. It's pretty, really beautiful, and I love it. You should really check it out. Guys, this is the reality of the conditions in which I'm filming. It's literally raining outside. I think that's proper spring weather. It's cold. It's not even that cold, but it's raining. Or even English weather. Rain and dread. But we're trying our best. Who cares? This is why we're romanticizing life. Because this weather is freaking miserable but we will and i will especially find beauty in this kind of weather because it's perfect for some warm tea a really nice book i'm now rereading emma by jane austen and later on i will go 